Welcome back my beautiful friends. So today's video is another smoky eye. But this one is different because it has a beautiful green blue color to it. So I've partnered up with Preen.me and Make Forever. And they sent me a box of different goodies that I could play with. And I decided to create this beautiful look for you guys. This is using their artist shade palette number two in the colors you crave. This next step is optional. I do it all the time if you watch my videos. You know, I love priming my eyelids because I do live in a warmer climate and it just helps my eyeshadow stay full all day long without creasing or smudging. Next is the eyeliner and I'm using the Artist Liner Collection in the color S20 Satiny Navy Blue. And these eyeliners are so creamy and they last all day long, but they do set quite quick so you have to work with them pretty fast. So basically what I did was just apply a very messy line right on top of my upper lash line. So what I'm going to do is just smudge the eyeliner with this Japanese smudger brush in 341. Just take that brush and I just very quickly just smudge the eyeliner away because it does set quick. And this eyeliner will give that blue intensity when I do apply the eyeshadow on top. The palette that I'll be using today is the Artist Shade Palette in number 2, Colors You Crave. And what Makeup Forever did is they created the three different columns, the eyeshadow from light to dark, where you can create three different looks or just use all the sh shades together. So today I'll be actually using the middle column with the beautiful blue and green colors. So the first color is number ME302 Peacock. Taking the same smudger brush by Japanesque, I just started building gradually the color from my lash line all the way up to my crease. You want to do this very gradually because this color is very pigmented and if you go crazy all at once you will get those raccoon eyes so just build very gradually and slowly all the way up to your crease and then to help blend this color i'm going to take that lighter color in the middle column this is the color crystalline gray beige the number d552 taking a small blending brush i'm going to start right in the inner corner and then just start blending towards the outer corner and it's just it just works very beautifully together when you blend these two colors. Because I'm going for that smoky look, I will take another bigger blending brush with no color added and just start blending and smoking out the colors even more. Once I get the smokiness level that I want, I'm actually going to add that beautiful turquoise blue shade ME232 with MAC 242 brush. Adding this blue color will just add that beautiful pop of color right in the middle of your eyelid. And then with that same blending brush, just blend out the colors together. Because this look is so smoky and bold, I'm actually going to apply false lashes. But first, I'm going to use their Smoky Lash Mascara just to coat my lashes once before I apply the falsies. The lashes that I used were Ardell Glamour 101 Demi. Next is the lower eyelash and portion. So what I did, I took that same eyeliner and just lined my waterline and a little bit below. And then took the same Japanesque smudger brush with the color Peacock and then just started to smudge my lower lash line with the eyeliner. Because this is a very smoky look, I'm going to smoke out my bottom lashes even more. So I'm going to take a smaller precision brush by Sephora number 61 and then just smoke out the bottom shadow with the top shadow just blending it all together. Next is the foundation. So this foundation is actually their new formula for their HD foundation, but this is the Ultra. I can actually make another separate video for you guys reviewing this foundation. And I'm using their foundation straight brush in the number 108. The color that I have on right now is Y225, or in the older formula, it was 117. So keep that in mind when you do purchase foundation. It's different shades. Next is the concealer. This is my one of my all-time favorites, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Natural Medium. It is so lightweight but so pigmented and it just lasts all day long and it seriously feels like I have nothing on my face. It is amazing. Once I blend out the concealer, I'm going to set it with one of my favorite powders by NARS, their translucent loose setting powder. And if you guys want to see my contouring highlighting video, click on that little icon in the top right corner and it will take you right there. To highlight my brow bone, I'm actually going to take that beautiful pearly pink eyeshadow color in the palette. Because the eyes are so bold and smoky, I wanted my lips to be not as crazy, so I went with a more neutral nude lip color. The colors that I chose were Estee Lauder Desirable and Rimmel Airy Fairy. I love mixing these two lipstick colors together because one is more pinker and the other is more nude, and when they're mixed, they just look beautiful together. And that's it for my makeup look. What do you guys think? I really, really loved working with these colors together because it brought out my natural green eyes 
and I don't know, it just looked very pretty. And plus these shadows were so easy to work with. They're so creamy and beautiful buttery texture. Also, if you guys want to know what I'm all about, I actually started a vlogging channel with my husband. Click on the link down below in the description box and it will take you right there. And we would appreciate if you guys subscribe to us, checked our videos, shared them, liked them, whatever. But if you guys like it, let us know. We'll keep making more videos. But until next time, thank you for watching my video.